So once the ID is selected, uh, I, I will talk about how this ID is selected. This account card controller, it has all the stuff which it received from this ACC object, which is this one. And it has returned so many fields, ID, name, and description. Now that I'm not displaying ID, but I still have access to that ID. It's just I have not, I have uh, decided not to display it. Why would I show the ID? It makes more sense to show the name and description, but still it's there. And that's why when I trigger the event account card controller, I have access for the ID. And before triggering that event, why this is happening is, uh, this is uh, something click event is happened, but how this component is aware of uh, that uh, something has happened and now I'm supposed to do something. We will talk about that in a bit, but uh, initially this has to trigger one event. And this, uh, before that uh, is triggered, it has to identify the actual event, which is this one here, which I explained before. So this is the standard uh, structure to reference that event. Once that happens, you have to pass the data. Now I am passing the selected ID, which I captured over here, and then I fire the event. That's it. So this is all about account card. I hope uh, you would be able to understand that. I hope it was not too much difficult. If uh, any other questions, uh, post comments in the videos below. Now let's talk about the another component. See, in Salesforce Lightning, what happens is all the components are separated from each other, but there is only one link between them and that is events. So this case list component, it doesn't have anything related to this account card, but still it is able to show you the list of cases based on account. How this is happening? This is happening due to the events, right? Now talking about case list controller, we have something called an handler, right? So what handler does is, it again, it knows uh, to handle a specific type of event to which it is registered. Like here, we have the register event for firing and for handling the event. Again, we need to reference that, this guy, right? And once it handles that, once the uh, event is fired from this account card, this is ready to handle that and it does is it does that by this code handle account selection if I go to controller oops uh, due to network connectivity uh, this thing is gone I'll resume I will pause the video and I will resume it okay so I'm connected to Wi-Fi there was a power cut let's continue so we have handle account selection event, where it is, okay, okay, yes. So handle account selection, what it does it, it first of all get param. Here what, what we did is we set param before firing the event. So the other way around, get param. Once we have that, we now call upon the action controller action which is again a Salesforce Apex controller which is case list aura controller and inside that we have a method get case info I will open up that right it receives the account ID so I am passing the account ID and I am get, getting the list of cases Right? These are the case list. This is again a query. I will be uploading my source code and you could see how this query is fabricated. Once that happens, I assign the list of cases. 